morning everyone and have the vlogmas day four it is currently 12 so noon i got up at like 8 30 today which was really nice and had a protein bar and half a celsius and then i went to the gym as you saw i wanted to film like a workout routine for you guys since i don't have lift anymore and i was working out by myself but it was just so packed in there i didn't want to film and obviously get anyone in there who didn't feel comfortable being filmed i would never do that and then i went and got a bacon egg and cheese wrap for like a brunch lunch situation and um here we are i only have one class today and it's at 3 30 but i'd like to get some study hall hours in since i don't have lift or practice anymore i can do some on monday so i'm gonna go at around 12 30 so in like 20 25 minutes and i'm gonna do like an hour or two there come back here for an hour and then go to my class and then i'm done for the day i already edited yesterday's video last night which will go up today but i'm waiting to see if we can find the security footage of pan escaping before i upload that so that's all i've got to do but i'm going to finish an essay or it's already finished i'm just gonna like check it and do everything and turn it in because it's due tomorrow and then work on finishing my other essay which is due on thursday but pretty much both of them are done though so i'm feeling pretty good i think i'm gonna do like a little q a situation on this vlog because there's not much going on so yeah okay guys it is currently at 12 53 i planned on leaving earlier to go to the pit and i was gonna do two hours but i'm just gonna do one today unfortunately we couldn't get the security footage back so i just uploaded uh vlog mistake three but I'm gonna head out. I'm gonna do one hour in study hall, turn in this essay and stuff, and then come back before my class tonight. I guess I'll talk to you when I'm back because I can't film in there. Okay guys, it's like 1.40. I, I literally only went to the pit for like 30 minutes. I normally don't go on Mondays because I have practice and lift and then class and I just don't have time, but I figured I'd just go and I didn't realize that because it's like a Monday, at noon literally everyone's in there and it was just too busy like I can't focus and I honestly didn't have much to do I have one important thing I have to like work on um, a little bit later but not till then so I think I'm just gonna read my book I'm reading wreck the halls so far so good um, but I think I'm just gonna read some of that I'm just not feeling like 100% today and I just thought, you know what, at least 30 minutes is better than what you've normally done on a Monday. Let's just leave it. I've only got to do eight hours this week and I can get that done easy, so. Okay, guys, it is now 527. I had class till 445 and then I just came back here and had a little snack because I was starving. And I'm going to get dinner at 6. But I asked you guys on my main YouTube account, Nalisa S, um, to comment some questions you had for me i was going to answer some for this vlog because i didn't have much else going on but tomorrow i think what i'm going to do is like a what i eat in a day as a division one athlete at college because people always ask me that and that's a very popular video trend so we're going to do that tomorrow what are your future plans with chino so chino i'm just going to show in the amateur owners there's a 3.6 height that I'll probably show him in for a little bit and eventually move down to 3.3. Um, I also want to continue to do national derbies on him because I really enjoy that. Um, but yeah, do you still plan to take Apple down to Division and do the adults show with him? So basically, there's an adult equitation group now. There, I believe the, f the one and only class at first was at the 3 foot height, but I do believe they're making one now that is 3.3. Um, so yes, I will be I'll be doing one of those which will be lower than 36 But Apple is 16 and he's done the big egg for a long time So he needs to he definitely needs to come down in height even if it's just a 3 3 he j the 3 6 is just I think it's time to be done Have you ever done jumpers and if you have do you prefer hunters or jumpers? So I have done jumpers um, if you are curious in seeing any of that if you just look up like Elise S jumpers on YouTube I'm sure the videos will come up, but I really really did love the jumpers um, I find it hard to choose which one I prefer because I feel like they're so different I feel like when you're on a really nice hunter that jumps incredible. That's so much fun but I've always had a love for the jumpers and going fast and just that adrenaline rush so how did you get to where you are now and what was the first step you took to get there so it's been a long journey i started riding when i was six years old and i have pretty much done every division i did the ponies 
um, like the small ponies, the large ponies, and then moved on to like pre-children's, and then I did children's, and then three three juniors, and three six juniors, and then all the equitation, and the jumpers, and I've done national derbies, international derbies. So to answer that, the first step I took was when I was six years old and started taking lessons. Um, but if you mean in terms of how to get to the level I'm at now, the first step I took was moving barns to more of a show barn and a more advanced trainer who could teach me what I needed to be taught to get to that level. Obviously I'm very appreciative of all the trainers I've had and they all play a role in where I am today but moving to Michael Britleone's barn was by far what changed me as a rider and made my junior riding career and I'm very aware of that and forever grateful for what he has done for me. I'm gonna go get dinner and if my roommate's not back by the time I get back I'll answer some more questions. Okay guys, um, so little change of plans. My roommate Gabby's gonna ask me the question. Hey, ready? Okay. I can, I, like, it can be anything I want. Anything. anything. Okay. What's the best part about living in Georgia? Ooh, these are good questions so <laughs> far. The <laughs> first one. Um, I think the best thing about living in Georgia is that it's mostly warm all the time. And I do, I have to say like, I feel like you have really good food up north, but you also have really good southern food. And really? like, okay. when you're like, away from it like i didn't appreciate it until i didn't have it do you prefer this like living in the winter or like summerish like kind of vibe like i think like <laughs> i definitely like, like the summer more than the winter however i'm like really excited to see the snow so maybe that'll change it you know what i mean because like the winter in georgia is like it is cold like it's in the 30s but it's raining so it's like I it doesn't that. snow so it's just like wet and cold so how do you feel like during Christmas, during that time? Yeah, it doesn't feel Christmassy. Really? So like it says it's Christmas over here, right? During yeah. Do you think it's gonna snow before? I hope. What's your favorite part about being in Connecticut slash New York? My favorite part? Um, I like, not that I've really gone into the city, but I like that I'm like close to it because I love New York, New York City. Mm -hmm. Like, I really want to go. Um, and side. I like that it snows up here. Like, it, like, snowed a little bit the other day. And I'm, I was like, stop. I was literally in class. And I was like, oh, my God, it's snowing. And everyone was like, why are you so excited? And I was like, I've never seen it. Really? you never seen snow? I mean, I've seen, like, Georgia snow. But it's, like, it's, like, oh ice. God, you have to see New York snow. Which, the least, like, what's your least favorite part about living in Connecticut? Um, the traffic. No one, I thought, living in Atlanta, I was like, I've seen bad traffic, but it's not even like the New York City traffic, it's the Merritt traffic. It's like a two-lane road with no shoulder, and so if there's an accident, it's just like stopped. Exactly. I've never experienced really? anything like that. No, because in Atlanta, it's like six lanes on each side. Yeah. It's, it's like, like kind of in Florida. So it's like 12 lanes across. Yeah, it's huge. What's your favorite thing about Shu? Say Cardi University. My thing. My favorite thing about shoe actually there's a few things i love my team and the campus is beautiful like if you had to visit any, any like any place in the world where would you go and why i really want to go to like bora bora or like the the mall the maldives the maldives they're like these like, i'll show you it's like we're like on instagram you know how they have like the really bright blue water and they have like the bungalows like on the water oh my god yes like, that's I wanna, where i want to go, go yes, yeah I'm that's talking about that's where I want to go. Have um, you ever been, like, have you ever seen, like, the New York water, like, the New York ocean, like, over here? No, I haven't. <laughs> it's <in> brown. <laughs> it's not brown. No, no, It's, like, it's, like, oh, people go on it. Um, do you know the Long Beach? Have you, have you ever heard it? It's a Long Yes, island. I have heard uh, Like, all the, I go, like, everyone goes there. From, like, mm -hmm. like, a lot of people around go there. Is Georgia's water clear? Like, how, how is your water? <laughs> no. Really? No, it's, I mean, here, let me, like, show you. How is you. Georgia's water? I'm surprised. I feel like Georgia has clear water. Oh, I know what you mean. That, that's kind of like It's like Jersey. when... Jersey. Yeah. I can't say Jersey. I guess it's it's like the different type of like sand. Okay. What's the best thing about being on a team at Superhero University? Oh, I think the best part is like... This sounds so dumb. Is like being on a team because like riding and equestrian is such like a individual sport. That like being on a team and having people like rooting for you is like a really nice feeling because like normally it's just like you're just head to head with everyone and no one wants you to win what's your favorite holiday christmas 
I love Christmas. I'm so excited. I've watched Home Alone like already, already like a um, few times. So if you didn't choose Sacred Heart, what would the next college you want to attend? Like would it be home or like out of state? Ooh. If I didn't attend Sacred Heart, okay. I guess there's a few different yeah, factors I, that. If I didn't, I know you're so good at this. If I didn't attend Sacred Heart and I wasn't planning on going to on like a team, I would have loved to go to NYU because that's like in the city. You know what I mean? Really? Like I would be living in New York City, which would be so cool. But like they don't have a Division One equestrian team. Wait, okay. So why did you pick Sacred Heart? Like why was this your choice? Why did I pick Sacred Heart? One, it was far away from home, and I just no, I just like felt like. <laughs> I needed to move far away from home while I was young because like both of my parents moved from England to South Carolina and I thought you know what like they did like a huge move in their in their life and it made them great people I'm gonna do the same and I actually do enjoy it because I'm like I am by myself you know what I mean and it's had it's forced me to grow I feel like in a lot of ways like remember when I had like COVID and stuff or like when I had the flu and I literally had to like get to the hospital by myself like I just you know what I mean and and then I had to like go to Target and like pick up my prescriptions and get soup and get things to eat like it's not like when I just be like, Mom, can you go Yay. get it? You know, which is amazing, but it did force <laughs> me to grow well, up. I would hope. Since you love to ride, well, how did you get into riding and why? And why did it become mm. your favorite sport ever? And what do you enjoy about doing it? And how do you love it? And how did you become so good with it? And like, how to get, like, how did you like make other people fell in love with it by doing YouTube, like doing your videos? Okay, so so my <coughs> older half sister rides horses, so I was always like, you know, it's like your older sister, you like want to do everything they do. And then my next door neighbor used to babysit me all the time, because she was like way older than me, like when I was really little, and she rode horses. So then I wanted to take lessons, so I took my first lesson when I was six, so I was like little, little. And then like my dad was always like, we are never getting a pony, and I... I begged for this pony. I was like, please, I just want to ride this pony. So we ended up leasing him, and it's the pony that I still own to this that day. So and then I started YouTube during COVID because it was like I was stuck at home. Uh -huh. And because I lived in Georgia, I was lucky that like I still had like a lot of land around me and I could ride my horses and like kind of like be more normal than I'm sure you guys had stuck in this city. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think I so know that. Just really? walking outside our houses without a mask. Like, put a mask on. See, like, I, I had so much land around me, so I was really blessed. So I was, like, bored and in, co in quarantine and was, like, 15. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to film my videos. And, like, it took off. Like, I was gaining, like, hundreds of followers Stop. a day. That's and my good. parents were all like, what is going on? Like, our 15-year-old is, like, posting videos on the internet. And they're getting, like, thousands of views. And it was just, anyway. That's so that's what started it. Thanks so much, Gabby. Anyway, thanks for watching this video, guys. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Wait, do it like a piece, like you like, you want to do it? Oh, or peace. peace. <laughs>